Okay, you see what he did? He french fried when he should have pizzaed. You french fry when you pizza, you're gonna have a bad time. I love going to my local fry shop to get a look at the famous white rectangle. They were way back in the freezer for some reason. Considering that the last time those mozzarella sticks were served up was likely years ago, I sure hope those didn't go bad. Otherwise, this store is either gonna have a lawsuit or three very angry crystal gems on their hands. Kofi is just kind of chilling by the door here as Steven walks by. He doesn't move an inch until Steven comes into view and he's not even looking directly at Steven. So does he spend most of his shift staring out the window at passersby waiting for someone to harass into eating at his shop? Makes you think, doesn't it? So. Any mention of someone else selling fries enables Frymen to teleport to their location, apparently. No, but seriously, there's no way he walked over that fast. I fail to see the correlation between these two restaurants warring and everyone suddenly turning into slobs to throw their trash onto the boardwalk. The fry shop still has these signs advertising their fry business, despite Fryman himself saying that they're out of fries, and despite him also wanting to really focus on their new pizza thing. Doesn't seem like very good advertising, but hey, what do I know? I was the one who wanted to shake things up. Oh, yeah. It's your fault. As much as that comes off as a joke, that seems a little mean-spirited, doesn't it? I get it's coming from Petey, but I think that's harsh even coming from him. Could I just get some fries? Sorry, we're all out of fries. I think that completely getting rid of the thing that you used to be known for wouldn't be a very lucrative business practice. In fact, I'd think keeping the fries around would make for a more entertaining plot about realizing that you can't exactly try to be good at everything. Maybe I'm just overthinking it, and I do still really like this episode, but I can't help mourning lost potential, you know? You're a fryman! Look at your hair! What about my hair? Kiki is standing over here when this scene starts, but then, as if inheriting this power from her father's greatest adversary, she seemingly teleports to behind the counter just to walk away from it again? Do you know how many metal concerts I've missed because of this war? How many? Mmm, like, one? Ronaldo! Hmm? Kiki! Hmm? You're sitting next to each other. Oh god no, Steven's matchmaking again. I'm getting war flashbacks. Okay, you don't have to pretend to get married, just pretend to be in love long enough to get this feud over with. I got a bad feeling about this. Shut up, Ronaldo! Ugh. I was joking about the whole new Lars thing, but now they're just flat out disregarding Ronaldo's feelings for the sake of their dumb plan. I know it's being played more for laughs here and is nowhere near as serious as that episode, but it still makes me the tiniest bit uncomfortable. Are you telling me that you two are involved in a romantic relationship? I come all this way to return your koala princess DVDs only to find you with another girl. Okay, this is clever. I like that the Crooniverse actually gave Ronaldo a girlfriend. It sends a nice message that anyone can find love. Save it for your blog. Keep Beach City single! But on the other hand, that line sucks balls. You know where Suitcase Sam's is? It used to be a restaurant called the Everything Buffet, but it wrecked the boardwalk's economy. But just when everyone thought all hope was lost, our dad and Fryman teamed up and ran them out of town. There's a lot I can suspend my disbelief about in this show, and you know that most of the time I'm even aware that a ton of my points are just nitpicks. But you cannot tell me that two shops that only really sell pizza and fries were able to compete with and even take down a corporation that sells everything. That's that's like saying my local pizza place and diner that sells fries could team up to take down Walmart. That's ridiculous. I will have the fantastic fries. I will have the pizza bagel. Oh, come on. They have the hyperbolic wowing adjective on the fries, but just call the pizza on a bagel a pizza bagel? I can see which food they have more faith in. I like the little touch in this shot that Kofi is literally the only one freaking out here, and these two are like, yeah, just another Tuesday. Look at how small Steven is here! He's so small that in the next shot, which I assume is from his perspective, Fryman's hands are so big they look swollen! I would think that even without model sheets, they'd at least make Steven's height distinguishable from a literal toddler. Do you hear that, Ronaldo? The war is over! <laughs> 
Y'all help me clean this place up. Sorry, we on break. You know, why did the gems even participate in this to begin with? Maybe they think it's amusing, or perhaps Garnet convinced them in some way. But surely at least Pearl would see this as idiotic and want no parts of it, right? What's this? You want me to close my lovely establishment? 